everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Anushkanya and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a snowflake animation using the three snowflakes we created in the last video. If you haven't watched my how to create a snowflake in Blender video, I will link it here so that you can check it out in my channel down below. The first step I'm doing in this video to create animation is that I am applying the transformation to each one of the snowflakes. I will then add them to a collection so that we can then instantiate that collection in the snowing animation. Add a plane to the scene and move it up by pressing GZ. This plane will be the meter where the animation will happen. Add a particle system, name it snowflake animation and press play to see what happens. We can see that some particles are being emitted from the plane and we see that they are just spheres. I will then go to the render tab, I will change render as collection and that's where we'll place the instantiated collection we created earlier. Don't forget that if you're liking this content be sure to click the subscribe button down below, like and share this video, this will help me to grow my channel. Now continuing to the video, I will scale the particles, I will add some scale randomness so that every particle is not the same size. Then I will select the initial snowflake and I will rotate it a little bit. The rotation will be portrayed in the final animation. I rotate them by pressing R or RZ, RX or RY, depending on the axis you want the snowflake to be rotated at. I will also add some rotation to the particles by checking the rotation box on the particle system. And then I will basically press play, reduce the timing a little bit and adjust the settings to my liking. You can also adjust the number of snowflakes that appear in your animation. I will type 2000. Now we'll go into the cache and I will click on bake all dynamics. This will bake all the animation. If you want the animation to go a little bit slower, you can go into integration tab and reduce the time step. This will make the animation go slower. Don't forget to also change the lifetime value, which will make the particles disappear faster or slower. I will then position the camera to where I would like the rendered animation to be.
Now in order to render animation, I will change the frame start to 70 because that's the number where the snowflakes begin to appear. I will select an output folder where each of the animation images will be saved. And then I just need to press the render animation button and let the animation render itself. By using this method, a series of image sequences will be saved into the folder and now I will put them together in Adobe Premiere Pro to create the final movie. We can see now that the animation has been rendered and now I will move into Adobe Premiere Pro. In order to import the sequence, I will click the import button head over to the animation folder where we saved the images, select the first image and be sure to have the image sequence checkbox selected. I will click on open and then I will grab the sequence into the timeline. I will also change the speed and duration of the animation so that it goes a little bit slower. I will change the speed to 50% and change the time interpolation to optical flow. Now in order to export our movie, I'm going to press Ctrl M. I'm going to choose the Facebook preset so that the movie is exported in high definition. I will select the folder where I would like the animation to be exported. I will name it. I will click on save and export. And once it's finished exporting, we can see the final result of our snowflake animation. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like and share my content. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you in the next video. But wait, there's more. I invite you to join my Patreon where you will find the final project files to every video from my YouTube channel. You will get access to special content and overall help me with general support which will help me continue to provide this kind of content for you only for $2 a month. If you are already on my Patreon, I thank you so much for the support and really appreciate everything from you.